if you want to control your Arduino using uh, Visual Studio and C Sharp, stick around. Alright, in the cards up above, there's a link to a uh, serial communication tutorial video I've done. Now, if you go into that video and just cut and paste the code, you'll see it's in one of those comments. And then bring that up into uh, your Arduino IDE platform. Just need to add a couple of things and you're away. So, first thing I want you to add is this pin mode 13 output in your setup and change um, some of these if statements from high and by to on and off. So digital write 13 high and digital write 13 low for off. And um, that'll get your light on and off. And that's all you've got to do for the Arduino um, if you can just cut and paste that code. Alright, so I'll leave you with that. Alright, all, right, all you've got to do is upload it. So um, let's upload it. So I'm using an Arduino Uno for this, but um, you can pretty much do anything with uh, pin 13, that's got the LED built in. You don't necessarily have to use this just for on and off of the LED, you could do anything with this, for example, you could do motor control and all sorts of stuff by just following these same steps and just changing your commands around, and that's um, basically it. So I'll just quickly test it, on, off, and it did work, you just couldn't see it. Alright, so let's get into the code on Visual Studio. Alright, the first thing you want to do is start a new project. Uh, C Sharp Windows Forms application. Rename it to something that you'll recognize. So, C Sharp 1. Okay. Alright, so it's creating the project. The faster your computer, the faster it will do it. Alright, so let's just start dragging some stuff on. So over on the left hand side, you've got a, a little toolbox. Now this is all the stuff that you can put in there. So let's um, start. I'm going to need a combo box. Bang that one in. You need a button. I need two buttons actually, so we'll put two buttons in. Bang, bang. Just going to make it short and sweet. Click on the one button, down here you can see, on over here, you can see where it says text, I'll just change it to on. Alright, so I've labelled the text to on, let's call the button something else, so down here under design and name, let's change it to whatever you want. Look, you can leave it as its default name, so you just got to be um, careful that you know what you're calling it. Alright, so this one will be off button, make that one off, alright, what shall I call this one, let me just call this one port box, alright, so we've got three things on the form, uh, three different names, just need to find a serial port, drag in serial port, beautiful, so we've got serial port in here, and all the serial port in here, and I've got um, put box, on button, off button. Then now you need to just come over here, double click on where it, pretty much where it's got form one, and it writes all this stuff in for you, and gets you going with your code. So you can just start putting code in here. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so you gotta right try, and that. You put some code in here. After this, you're going to need to put in a catch. Exception. And then do another one of these. And then do message box. Show. Uh, port box dot items dot add range and um, brackets system dot io 
dot ports dot serial port dot get port names then I've got to put in a set of brackets All right. so when it um, form unloads it, it grabs all your serial ports and sticks them in that port box alright so port box dot selected index equals zero now that just um, automatically puts in the first index into the, the port box otherwise it'll just be blank and it won't work if you accidentally hit connect all right so let's just add some parameters the serial port board rate now that can be anything that you want it to be 9600 2400 one, 115,000 whatever it is all the different um, serial port board rates depending on what you've um, programmed your Arduino to be. Right, so we've set some defaults. Uh, all right, so you've got that bit first, then go across, double click on the on, go back to the thing, double click on the off, and then it, it writes all this. If you don't um, double click it, you're going to write that manually, or you can go across in um, to the properties and create it. But it's easy just to double click it to get it to go. We just got to fix up. There's just going to be brackets, that makes that work, sorry about that. Alright, what I want you to do is just copy this. Copy. Hit paste in here. What, I'm, what we're going to do is just delete this bit here. Delete that, and then you just got to write some stuff for the serial port. So it'll turn it on. Now we can cut and paste all this. Copy. Copy and paste. Paste. So now we've got it again, we can just change this one to off. that all right now we've got that we need to get this one go across to the, the lightning the events select the item change just double click on that and it writes some stuff in here for you again that saves you having to manually write at all if you do the double click this one's good again just copy all that again and go copy paste Take that out. Now all you got to do is write um, serial port one dot port name equals port box dot text. All right. So that should be all we want. Hit start. See if it works. All right. Select your com port mine seventeen on off on off and it's working let me just show you again on off on off and that's it
in the corner I've linked a video of part three of, uh, of a series that I've done in that video it tells you how to publish your program and make it so you can install it so if you get your program running go to part three then you can make it an install application with an icon and everything so um, have a look and see how you go